Hey guys, before some time I promised you a video about processing these little guys, these little guys and uh, this is crystal and the crystal oscillator. So now I, I keep, the, I always try to keep that promise and uh, today we work with this little bastard. So first we're going to put that in that box and put on the scale to see how much actually we got here. So first we will fix that scale in zero. Okay. And now we'll put that inside. Okay. And now see that? We got exactly 900 grams crystal and the crystal oscillator. So let's start. Now we need to open this to remove all that to remove all that metal, that box, because that box is a bigger problem. Some battery. And okay. See that? For this, we're gonna use this tool and these. So, for the first, what you need to do. side and just try Stop. Pretty slow job. And you just open him like shell. Oh, you see that? Just lost our disc. See this? This little. Come on, focus. See that disc? This disc is silver plated, and here inside. So you need to be careful to not lose any of this stuff. Now we're gonna remove that IT little and now with the screwdriver just need to remove everything from the inside completely. Okay, and now we got just empty shell and this stuff, except I see this stuff go right in the jar or beaker.
go to the next one it's these this one it's easiest for uh, open This stuff is so fragile, very, very fragile. Okay, so from this, when you remove that little disc. that little disc you just left with the, this box and it's just metal worthless metal so you put that in the scrap metal it's okay now you know how I'm doing this I think I need a more more than one two hour to open all this but I will back when I finish okay Okay, this is make hole, so you see how it's look inside, this is just uh, isolation inside and this steel box, but look how it's look inside, just circle with a well plate inside, like, so this bottom part we just throw away and we keep everything here inside. So this little one see that don't use electric tool you just use this little vice and uh, like these and you just try to cut him and you just when you open him you just shake him a little and uh, trust me the silver plate glass inside we will fall down see that all this little glass part here 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 this is from these little guys Trust me, if there is an easy way, I will know it. There is no easy way without use a lot, a lot chemical. And uh, if I if I use too much nitric for just a couple of gram of silver, for me this is not quality job. Okay. So now we go mechanically. And then I have a question about what is in uh, these, this kind of uh, crystal with the gold plate. I open one, see the gold plate underneath, but he got the uh, gold plate inside. Come on, focus. Got gold, eh, see that you got gold plate inside like the normal transistor but still inside the disc is a silver plate it's not gold I just want to show you uh, for all this pile I, I found only two with a gold plated glass disc you see it's gold not, not uh, silver, very quality gold, it's not shiny, and uh, it's a uh, low percent, 
uh, this crystal this is from the crystal with the gold so low percent with the gold mostly 99% is silver but uh, you can find sometime like this it's cool okay after almost a half a day of work and a lot of blister on my hand we got a lot of scrap metal this is only scrap steel so okay this is go to junkyard uh, the price is uh, about uh, 15 cent here and this is what we got from the inside this crystal and crystal oscillator not much some ceramic some uh, silver plate to glass and focus okay see that all that silver plated glass I got uh, two transistor inside couple of pieces with gold see that but not too much I don't expect too much gold maybe not enough for uh, measure that but never mind uh, the next step is uh, we put uh, it's not a lot tin inside so we're not uh, take first that with the hydrochloric acid we will uh, put uh, nitric acid inside straight to absorb all the silver and remove all the base metal okay now we got some nitric acid here not much and uh, I will add just a little just a little water and now I'll put that inside I think that will be a work very good without any extra heat you see that base metal already start to dissolve So we're gonna leave that. See, already no color. We're gonna leave that for a couple of minutes, and uh, the next step is a filter solution. Okay, after we dissolve all the silver, we start uh, filter that silver solution, and we already add 150 milliliter upper regia here to dissolve all that gold and what is left from the metal okay now we're gonna put that on a little heat okay upper regia is done the job now we're gonna filter that solution Stainless test show just a little, little gold traces, not much, we don't expect too much gold here. So go, okay we go to filter this, after aquavidia, only left is the uh, glass and uh, the ceramic drying part, no gold traces anymore, other solution are filter and uh, then we neutralize with the urea and uh, drop some gold, okay? Now, this is our silver solution and uh, with some table salt some table salt we will try to drop some silver if there is some silver inside uh, we got some silver, but not too much. Ok, 
Okay. Not too much silver there. Now we're gonna leave that to settle down. And uh, after that, we're not convert that little amount. We will just straight melting to see. Melt to see how much silver we got. Okay, this is our Aquaregia. And now we got one spoon SMB dissolve in the distillated water. And now we drop some gold. If there are any gold inside, just out out. And we will add some water. Okay, now we're gonna leave that because uh, uh, not enough gold that we got a visible reaction. So we'll just leave that on side and tomorrow we will see if there are any any slug on the bottom of the jar. Hey right, guys, after 24 hours, our silver chloride is uh, down, settled down. It's not much silver chloride, but uh, we got some crystal here. And uh, now I will filter this and uh, I will not convert this, I will straight melt because of the time and uh, see how much silver we got from that crystal. But uh, this is our gold. Not much gold. It's a very, very small deposit on the bottom of jar and not clumpy. It's like a fog. I will filter that too and uh, probably I will melt this with uh, some other stuff because uh, it's so little amount of gold that uh, I'm not waste filter. Okay. Okay, let's go to filter this and go to melt this. Okay guys, we finished our job and uh, okay, for uh, gold recovery, this uh, uh, silver crystal and the crystal oscillator, not good. Um, I got uh, just a little slug on my Aquaregia jar. Uh, I think maybe 0 0.05 gram. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't really know because uh, I can melt this uh, that little bead. Uh, so I put that filter together with uh, my other filter, and uh, I will burn that together sometime. But for the silver, actually, it's not bad. Look at that. This is a uh, uh, five point one gram. Pure silver. I will show you. Okay. So this is the silver which we get from the crystal and the crystal oscillator. And uh, okay, I lie. Pine, uh, five five point two gram pure silver. So for the silver, it's good. It's solid. But uh, for gold, it's very bad because uh, very, very rare pieces contain gold. And this is just a small spot of gold. I think uh, maybe for the one gram, you will need 10 or uh, 15, more, uh, maybe 20 kilo of crystal oscillator. So is this worth the process? Okay, everything is worth, worth the process, but how? Uh, I uh, uh, I uh, open this uh, 800 gram 
of crystal oscillator all, all the day so uh, uh, it's a lot of job and a hard job I got a blister on my hand but uh, this silver is not worth uh, all day work so for silver uh, every silver is nice but the silver silver is cheap and not much gold inside so uh, if you want to want to do this okay you do this just for fun only if you want to try but uh, if you want to do this for money I don't recommend that uh, maybe it's a better solution to get uh, maybe a 10 kilogram or 20 kilogram and uh, uh, send to professional refiner uh, not home refiner like me uh, some firm uh, some factory uh, refiner factory and uh, for that amount of 1 kilogram crystal and crystal oscillator some uh, professional uh, refiner factory uh, it's good uh, it's good uh, do for you good job for the silver and for little amount of gold but uh, just process kilogram or two for gold don't work for uh, for silver it's worth but the silver is cheap and a uh, lot of work uh, this is mechan beam this what I do is mechanical process but uh, and it took slowly but uh, trust me if you want to do this in a chemical way you will spend a lot of acid because that uh, little boxes are uh, it's eat a lot of acid if you just put that straight in the nitric you will get big mess you will get rust rust slug and uh, it's very it's very hard to uh, work with that and uh, I think for that kilogram uh, of that crystal and crystal oscillator I, I will need maybe a I don't know maybe a six seven liter nitric acid and uh, other other acid so this is proce this process how I do it save acid but it's a lot a lot slower and uh, trust me for me, this process don't work to make some money because uh, you got silver, but silver, silver is a cheap and uh, you don't have a lot of gold, maybe a 0 0.05 gram, it's a really, really small amount of gold. Okay guys, so this will be just uh, one fun process, I want to try, to try this, I never work with uh, that crystal before. And uh, okay, I will sat I satisfy, but uh, I'm not too satisfied. But never mind, it's be a lot of fun for me. Okay, guys, see you around, and uh, happy new year, and uh, Merry Christmas to all. And uh, okay, so see you around, and have a nice day, have, have a good time on holidays, and uh, see you in the next video. Okay, guys.